Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. How are you? I am fine. Just fine? Yes. Great. How are you, everybody? Fine, teacher. I'm fine. Fine, good. Nice. Happy, ready. <laughs> okay. Not hungry. Not tired today. I'm dinner. Yes. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> we are always tired every day. <laughs> All right. Today was a hectic day in traffic. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher. Yes. Um, I, I am go home yet. I'm still going home. Yes, it's all right. Don't worry. Be careful. Okay, thanks. All right. Well, everybody, welcome. Today is the first day of December. Today we have our class number eight. So I hope, well, actually, let me see. Hmm. This is interesting. Yeah, actually, I hope everybody can connect. Everybody can participate. Yeah, I know there are some people that are still going home. There are some people that are still sick. So I hope everything gets better, that you recover, that you get better, okay? So tonight, it's a great day. It's a great opportunity. It's a great time to improve our English, all right? There's always an opportunity to improve, to get better. And today should not be the exception, all right? All right, let's see. I'm going to choose somebody from the list of participants. Hmm, I see Sergio, Emer, Carlos, Cesar, Daniel, Emerson, Eric, uh, Jacob. Did you participate yesterday, Jacob? Teacher, yesterday no estuve en clase. <laughs> I didn't participate in class. Why? Yes. Why? Es que tuve un, tuve un viaje y no pude, no pude lograr. I was working. No, era un problema familiar. A family issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. All right. Okay, so we have... Uh, Jocelyn, we have Julio, we have Carla, Lailin, Melissa, who is sick, unfortunately. We're going to send good vibes, no good vibes, good vibes to Melissa to recover, to get better, because she's sick. And we got Sergio and Mr. Luna. All right. I'm going to share, let me see. Vamos a hacer un, una prueba. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share the whiteboard. You see the whiteboard? Yeah. Yes, I do. Of course. Okay. Vean. Traten de mover el, el menú flotante. Vean los que pueden escribir sobre la, sobre la whiteboard. Yes. No puedo, teacher. <laughs> I can't. Estoy en el teléfono, quizás por ah, eso. Yes. Ajá, ahí vemos que Carlos ya nos está dibujando. No todos van a poder, por eso les digo, vean los que pueden. Sí, si estamos desde un phone... It's kind of hard. But I can't. I can't. I sí, can. ya pude, teacher. Ya pude. Ya vi. <laughs> Vaya. Ahí también hay que tener cuidado, ¿verdad? Porque no vamos solo a manchar. <laughs> y los que ya mancharon, erase. Pueden borrar así. Tal cual. 
Yes. Ok. Entonces, en el menú flotante ustedes pueden elegir text, que es cuando escriben exacto. Ahí alguien ya estaba escribiendo text. Ahí dijeron hi. Vale. No vamos a escribir cualquier cosa. Vamos a escribir oraciones usando could. O preguntas usando could. Recuérdense, yesterday we started the use of could for polite questions, right? So, for example, I want to write a sentence using could. Let's say, could you help me, please? Right, this would be an example. Yes? By the way, ya pudieron. Pueden escribir diferentes questions en las que usamos could para pedir educadamente que alguien nos haga o nos ayude con algo, ¿verdad? Que nos haga un favor, que nos ayude con algo, que nos repita algo, que nos brinde algo, que nos informe. Yes? So, this type of questions is the questions that you're going to write on the whiteboard. Veamos. How many sentences, how many questions you can think of? Uh -huh. The most common one is, could you help me please? Could you give me a ride? Cuando ustedes piden favores. Uh -huh. Could you open the door please? Yes. Could you print this for me? <laughs> could you give me some water? Yes. So that's the type of questions that we need to be very kind. Yeah, could I have some tea? Could you declare me the world? Could in negative? Oh, the pronunciation of could plus not is couldn't. Yes. Can you say, could you repeat? Could you clarify? Se conjuga. Uh, se contracta. Pueden ser could not o couldn't. Uh, couldn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think. No problem. Uh -huh. Could you lend me your cell phone? Could you give me five dollars? <laughs> so if you're going to request for something to your family, you also can use could. Yes. Could you check this for me, please? Yes. Could you buy some food? Could you buy some soda? Yes. More, more questions using could for requesting for something. Mm -hmm. You can continue writing. Pueden continuar escribiendo los que ya habían participado as well. Yes. Teacher, dice que yo intenté escribir, pero no puedo. Solo la, la, la opción de lápiz me da, pero no sé si... Sí. Ah, pues hágalo así como cuando empezó, cuando aprendió a escribir. Sí, <risa> Solo que esa es más fácil cuando tiene una tablet. Ajá. Solo que esta es un poquito más difícil porque no son touch, entonces tiene que mantener el cursor. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Pero si tú quieres hacerlo, I could sing. Ajá. Uh -huh. Right, what else? Could you carry these boxes for me, please? All right. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, I, I could. ¿Qué diría? I could. Yo podría. I could sing. La última, la que está abajo. Mm -hmm. Yo podría cantar. Yo podría cantar. Sí. Teacher, y si yo digo, I, uh, could you say me some new? Diría, podría decirme algo nuevo o no? Mm, something new. Something new. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Could you good. tell me something new? Mm -hmm. Could you give me a ride? Okay, teacher, gracias. <laughs> all right. Give me one second. I just need to connect my computer, but you continue writing, all right?
All right. What other questions? Requesting for something. All right. Would you pass me the course? <laughs> That's an interesting request. Se me fue una R. It's all right. It's all right. Uh huh. Could you? The difference of words say and tell. Say is when you say something literal. Cuando quieres que diga algo la otra persona, pero literalmente lo que tú acabas de decir. Say pencil. Pencil. Say book. Book. Right? Say my name. My name. <laughs> right? And tell is puede parafrasear la otra persona. No necesariamente va a repetir textualmente. Yes? Okay, I could help you. Uh huh. Okay. More, more examples. El could es muy, muy usado para pedir favores. Porque es una forma polite de pedir algo. Request, right? So you can say, could you give me a couple of, of, sheet of paper or could you pass me that pen please yes could you open the window could you turn off the lights yes and usually people emphasize that it's very polite by adding the word please yes all right well Let's stop the sharing and let's have the attendance because it's almost time. Let's see. Good morning. Good morning, not here. Carlos. Present teacher. Good okay. Good evening. Cesar. I'm here. Good evening. Claudia. Claudia, Claudia, not here. Daniel. I'm here. On his way home. Uh, uh, not yet. All right. It's all right. Edwin. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Emerson. Hi, teacher. Good I am evening. here. Good evening. Eric. Good night, teacher. Hello, hello. Emer. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Jacob. Present teacher. Present teacher. Jorge. Nahir. Julio. Present. Good hey. evening. Good evening. Carla. Present teacher. Nailing. Present teacher. Mary. Present. Mario. Present Miss. Hello, Melissa is sick. Sergio. Present teacher. And with Pedro. Hi, present. Hi. What happened? <laughs> me la había pasado? Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, Claudia, aquí presente. Hi, Lo siento, no me había conectado porque estoy trabajando todavía, pero voy a estar escuchando. I'm Teacher. working. Sí. Ah, ok. <laughs> All right. Ok. Let's see. Wait a second. Need to add an. Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Well, para los que sí pudieron conectarse yesterday, you noticed that we were studying could, and today we're going to see the contrast of could and can. Right? So, one 
second, I guess, I need to go to the beginning of the presentation. Okay, and here we go. Well, as I mentioned previously, today we have our class number eight, December the 1st. Yes, and this is Thursday, December the 1st, and the class number eight. All right. All the information we usually have at the beginning of the course and the dates for the evaluations, of course, right? And for this session, yes, you're going to create a short conversation in which you're going to be showing dissatisfaction about a product they receive or but in a hypothetical conversation. Of course, if you have a real situation in which you were not really satisfied, about a product that you bought, you can also express it here, okay? So that's the main point, okay? So as we were saying yesterday, we were studying the use of can and could. Can, it's possible to use can. Can you give me the cell phone, please? Can you give me some extra information about the product? But if you use could you definitely sound more polite you sound more educated more formal right so these are the examples you find on your manual because i can give you my personal information she can't pay for the wash right now yes can i have your credit card number can you tell me how many items you need Okay, and you want to sound more polite and you say you could try with another credit card or they couldn't give you my billing address. Could you spell your last name? Could we check the details of my order? All right, so these are the, some of the examples that you have contrasting can and could. I mean, if you want to use for any other reason for possibility, you can use can. That's not a problem, but if you want to sound requesting for something mainly, then you better use could. It sounds more formal, okay? All right. Then you have this exercise in which you have to complete the questions with can and could, then ask a partner and write the answers. Can you, could you, can you, could you? So practically, you have to write two questions with can you and two questions with could you. So the only challenge probably is in what situations you use can that is not very formal and in which situations you better you should use could because you want to sound more formal. All right. So these are the challenges that you have. Okay. Examples. Yes, we do have an example like, can you tell me the price of this computer? Probably uh, you already know the person, you don't want to sound very formal. You can say, what if the person is now really familiar and the person probably is somebody that looks serious, then you would say, could you? tell me the price of this computer, okay? Right, if you want to sound more formal. And then, possible, yes? Teacher. Yes, yes. Eh, no pude leer la, la definición de cool, pero cool es como más educado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Más formal. En resumen, ah, vaya, gracias. Yes, gracias. no problem. Okay, and then, probably you want to be creative and if the question was can you tell me the price of this computer you say sure it's just 350.25 right and with could could you mention the discounts or promotions for this yes and then the possibilities for the answers sorry maybe yeah you can say could you mention the discounts or promotions for this yes there is 25 percent discount and there's the second one on half price probably or today or only for today you can have two for the price of one 
to any other discounts in case you have this question with could. Okay, so I recommend you to write two questions with can, two questions with could, but try to relate these questions to shopping, okay? Because remember, the unit that we are studying is about shopping. And mainly if it is about shopping online, okay, that would be better. But it's if you want to just ask questions from a shopper to a person that is attending a store, it's all right. Okay, write the four questions, two questions with could and two questions with can, and then you exchange, you compare the questions with your partner. And probably your partner can give you an answer, right? So that would be a really good idea, okay? So we're going to be working with somebody else on the groups. Okay, here we go. Sí. No entendí mal, dijo que hiciéramos como de lo que hemos visto anterior, de lo de las compras en línea. ¿Verdad? Ahí está la imagen. Ok. Bye. Si quiere, mm -hmm. yo tengo una que pueden, podría hacer. Can you buy clothes online? Pero veo, veo. Pero me quiero. Que quiero. Uh -huh. No me da para, para escribir sobre ella. Uh -huh. Mm. Ah, quiero ver, aquí está ya. Okay. Va, ahorita, dígame, dícteme. Yo había pensado esta, can you buy clothes online? Como... Buy. Ajá, buy. 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 Can you buy es B, B, U. Ajá. No, la... No, la... Sí. No, sería la U y la I, la I latina, y la Bye. Ah, Uy, sí. Ajá. Ajá. No, la U en medio de las... De las ah, medias. ya, 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 de compra. Ajá, okay. compra, sí. Ajá. Can you buy clothes online? Buy, me dijo, ya lo, lo otro. Clothes. Can you buy clothes? Can you buy clothes, sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Online. Así, así es. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Online. Online. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo puedes, comp puedes comprar cosas en línea? Uh -huh. Y la respuesta eh, podría ser uh -huh. if I buy clothes online, si sí, compro en línea. Okay, uh. Uh -huh. Go to your home. <coughs> If call we go with you. 
¿Qué serían las dos que yo propongo? ¿Vas a proponer alguna? Sí, ahorita. Ahorita. Hola, permítame que... No, está bien, está bien. En esa no estoy bien. ¿Cuántas dijo que íbamos a hacer? Ah, cuatro, son más dos cada uno. Me cheque. To call why in my house, don't you? Hmm? <clears throat> you call why in my office? In my home, is this? Or house, I guess. That's what I mean, just... <clears throat> el libro, ¿verdad? Sí, sí yo lo tengo en el libro. Ajá, pero yo me puse a hacerlas acá y no me acordaba que esto está en el en el, en el libro, este, pero igual eh, son yo dos. Escribo. I write. Ah, va, ok. Eh, Le voy a dejar espacio para la respuesta. Y... A ver... Tell me your opinion. Hey, John, can you come with me to buy a new computer? Yes. But, a ver. Jacob. Creo que debes, se dice shoulder. Hey, John, can you shoot, come shoot. with me to shoot. buy a new computer? Yes, but you should to buy, to yes. buy me. Uh, yes, can you? <laughs> uh, yes, can you? Oh, show. You should? Oh, ¿Cómo sería acá? Yes. Should. Vaya. Es que um, no, no estoy mm. muy segura acerca de esa palabra. Eh, lo más básico para contestar, si la respuesta es afirmativa, es usando el mismo modal verb. Uh -huh. Can. O sea. Yes, you can. Eh, in that case, como le estoy preguntando a. I can. You, oh, okay, yes, okay. I, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Um, Entre paréntesis, póngale, pero tienes que comprarme un helado. Ah, ok. Yes, I can, toma. <laughs> But you, you should. Uh, no, si se lo ponemos, no. Podría se ser ponemos, have to. You have to. O sea, lo estamos obligando. Porque... Machine, machine. Como preguntándole. Ah, sí. Ajá, sí, sí. Me ¿Sí? the price, me, ajá, uh, me the price, 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 es, se escribe a uh, uh, price of, of, of the washing machine, washing, washing no, machine. No, 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 no. Bueno, yo le puse lavadora, pero podría ser otra cosa, podría ser... Eh, puede darme usted el precio de no, pues no, es más fácil. Ah, de del libro que my mm. price could you give me my price give me price of the book y aquí pues, pero se lo puedo mover ah oh, no ya no lo puedo mover va no sé quería ver si lo podía mover este no. The price sería así, ¿va? Ah, sí, sí. 
Aunque podríamos poner también el, el, el des y, y, y en vez de mi. Ajá. Ah, para que se vea como que estamos resolviendo el des y el dis. Sí. Ese teléfono. Ah, un solo. Y creo que estamos ya, ahí tenemos las cuatro, los cinco. Y en este chat están todos, solo nosotros. Por no. nosotros y por ahí había alguien más. Que usted, la teacher, ma, eh, Meli, no me acuerdo quién es aquí. Entonces, la primera. Sure, the red shoes are. Pero no sé si es are por ser, por ser cosas, creo que sería is, ¿verdad? Depende de precio. cuántos productos. Un par de zapatos. Un par de zapatos, sí. Ajá. Sería. Ajá, está preguntándole por un par de zapatos, digamos. Uh -huh. Vaya, Entonces veamos sería... otro producto, otro producto. Podría ser <risa> un libro. Uh -huh. Entonces, pongámosle about this book. About that book. Ok. Ok, no, no le hablo. Bye. Mm. Um, quiero ver. Eh, podríamos ponerle of course uh, this book is about the science method <laughs> uh, uh -huh, podría ser about science fiction about uh, horror stories horror stories like a, como un libro de, 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 de Dross <laughs> que todos tratan de, de terror o de ciencia ficción, o de comedia, like The Little Prince. Yo decía el método científico. About <laughs> the science. Science. Método, creo. Método. O, o pongámosle de science fiction. Science fiction. fiction. No sé si lo escribí. O será bien, fiction no... science. Me puede, me pueden este. All right. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Great. Yes. All right, let's see. The first group was Palmore and Cesar. Could you please tell me the, the questions that you created in the group? Uh 
And you? Yes. I I can't listen listen to. You couldn't listen to me. Uh, no? Yes. Yes. All yes. right. Could you repeat the questions that you created with can and could in the group? Ah, uh, let me check. All right. We we could rest more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's my question. What you gave me my cell phone? Mm -hmm. um, could we go with you? Mm -hmm. uh, mm. could, could you give me this book? Mm -hmm. And... Only that the uh, the 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 other uh, sentence is is uh, affirmative. Is a, affirmative sentence. Mm -hmm, affirmative Those sentence. were the questions only. Uh huh. All right. Good. So the next group was Daniel, Edwin, Carla, and Mary. Okay. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. Mm -hmm. Could you repeat the questions, please? Can you tell me where are the TVs? Mm -hmm. The TVs are in the hallway four. Could you tell me what color come come the tablet? Mm -hmm. Sure. The colors are black, white, gray, and gold. Mm -hmm. Can you show me the cell phone? Mm -hmm. Take it. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Great. Good. That uh, one. The last one? Oh, 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 you say me when I read this new product. Okay. Sure, this new product, new product arrived last week. All right. Okay, could you tell me when the new products arrive? All right, done. Perfect. The okay. third group was Mario, uh, Jacobo, Lailin, and Wilfredo. Anybody can represent Somos the group. Grupo tres. Yes. <laughs> okay, no the first one. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, no, no, espérense, espérense, yo quiero dar una porque las demás no las tengo, no las copié. Solo copié okay, una. Okay, go ahead. Después mis compañeros van a dar las otras porque yo... Democracy. Sí. A ver, tenemos una con Ken. Es, can you borrow me $10? Entonces, yes, but I need that you get it but me. All right. <laughs> okay, if you request for money, unless that is your very good friend, you can say can, but if no, you have to say could. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's the reason, teacher, why we use can, because it's some, somebody who we You really know. know very well. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the second one is informal too. Mm -hmm. Hey John, can you come with me to buy a new computer? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can, but you have to buy me an ice cream. Um, <laughs> the third one, mm -hmm. uh, hello sir, could you tell me how can I get to the bank please? Sure, you must walk right away three blocks and the bank is going to be in front of you. Um, Jacob, would you continue, please? Yeah. Okay. The last one. <laughs> okay. Could you give me some information about that book? Of course, this book is about science fiction. Nice. Very good. Good examples. Good questions and good answers. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, tell me, Daniel. 
Eh, ah, es que ya, ya entendí que eh, íbamos a hacerlo como yo voy llegando a casa, yo entendí que lo íbamos a hacer individual. Y yes, y después y, las iban a comparar y después podían como eh, compartir con sus compañeros las cosas. Con mis compañeros porque yo no, no, no sabía eso. No, It's sé right. ellos también. no problem. It's okay. Con que he llegado bien. <laughs> Safe and yes. sound. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So we got number four, group number four, Mr. Julius and Melissa. But Melissa is sick. Mr. Julius, did you create any question? But can and could? Not really. Anyways, in the group number five, we got Carlos, Jocelyn, and Sergio. Anyone? Hola, teacher. Hey. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Uh... <laughs> Teacher, nosotros solo hicimos dos, porque pensamos que solo era complementar las que nos hacían falta. Ay, sí. Menos sí. mal que es la época de dar, que compartir. <risa> 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 Qué generous. Vaya, no, no importa, Vaya, le voy a decir yo una. Can you buy clothes online? And the answer. Eh, if I buy clothes online. Sí, yes. Mi línea, yes. Yes, I can buy clothes online. All right. Sí. Y mi compañero le va a decir la otra para no ser porque hay que compartir <laughs> respuestas. It's the most wonderful uh, time. Bueno, voy a decir la otra. How how you give me price the book? The mm -hmm. price is ten dollars. Could you give me the price of the book? Yeah, the price is ten dollars. Oh, that's a great book. Awesome. Perfect. No, está muy caro. <laughs> She's always complaining. Okay, you don't want to have Lailin as a customer, I bet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So these are the explanations, okay, for... Let me see. <clears throat> for Ken. And could wait a second. Yes, we just finished this, right? So, I, you, he, she, para todos los subjects va a ser can or could y el verbo. E igual para la forma negativa, para todos los subjects, I, you, he, she, if, we, they, can't or couldn't. And for the questions, iniciamos con el auxiliary, que en este caso sería can you. Can we, can they, or could you, could he, could she? O sea, lo que hacemos es, es anteponerlo, o sea, pasar el can o el could al inicio, luego el subject y luego el verbo, y ya estamos estructurando la question. Y ahí, la forma más sencilla de responder es una short answer. Yes, I can, yes, you can, yes, she can, yes, we could, yes, she could. Or no, I can't, no, she can't, no, he can't, no, he couldn't, no, she couldn't, right. Dependiendo si quieren responder de forma affirmative o de forma negativa. Les voy a compartir esta lámina para que puedan completar estas sentences, ¿ok? Ustedes vean que más tiene sentido si can or can't, si could or couldn't, right. Y luego las vamos a comparar, obviamente. Vamos a darle la oportunidad de trabajar con alguien más. Somebody else.
ke lain lah. Siap, dia ramu tu, dia ramu tu, dia ramu tu. Siap ramu tu. Lo público o lo tienen ustedes. Sí, ahorita. Porque son dos láminas, pero está bien solo. 22 minutos. Ya, sabes, ¿verdad? Ya sabes. Un solo tenemos que ir respondiendo. Okay, the first can go to no sé si aquí pusiéramos I, I can go to the bar last night because I was sick. I can, yes. I call. It sería I cannot. I cannot go yes. to the bar. Could Noel cook Italian food? Yes, he. Aquí sería yes. Ah, yes, Noel. Can o could he? Es aquí, ¿verdad? Es aquí. Bueno, es aquí. Ajá. Sería, ¿Can he no es cool Thailand food? Yes. She could. He could. Dejemos can o cool. ¿Cuál es otro? Cool. Okay. Cool. Good. Hey. A ver. <laughs> next. Okay, next one. Seems But now she uh, Cesar, is uh, what do you like think the first about one. About this three. My sister, my sister swim last year. Mm -hmm. But now she ah what do you think? Colden? I I I think uh, that um uh, the last uh, the last uh, sentence about but now she couldn't but now she couldn't Ok, es decir, como no. No podría, que ya no podría, pero ahora no podría. Porque ella está diciendo, mi hermana. Eh, no podía. Nadó. Escucha. Va a llorar muerto entonces. Eh, sería siempre que en verdad um, en la tercera o en la segunda en la tercera para mí en la tercera sería siempre que pero en la primera o en la segunda parte en la segunda parte en la, segunda. En la primera dijo que negativa ajá pero es que en la segunda parte yo entiendo que dice que él podría o sea ella podría no que ella puede pero... No, ahí dice, pero ahora ella puede. Ajá, pero ella puede. El bat es pero. Ella. Está cerrado. Sí, quiero ver luego, la sería la number five, ¿verdad? Ajá. Could you read when you were four years old? When you read... Uh, could you read... ¿Podrías leer cuando estuviste cuatro... Años, no, verdad, no es así. No, no tiene sentido. 
podrías leer cuando tú no puedes leer cuando tenías where where es pasado cuando tenías cuatro años de edad ah podrías, podrías leer, leer podrías ajá, leer could sí. you read ajá entonces sería full verdad full podías ajá. podías leer cuando tenías cuatro años de edad yes pero ahí sería en pasado o no y ese no sí, lo he visto sí porque pero creo que es el mismo cool. Cool. Sí, okay. teacher yes actually el, el, yes the past of Ken is cool es cool, lo mismo cool, uh -huh. uh -huh. ajá Oh, okay. Qué fácil es el inglés, teacher. Ay, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> me salté, me salté. Are you excited? There, <laughs> please, please stop. Stop, Emerson. <laughs> okay, I am stop. Eh, no, o sea, lo que pasa es que cool, o sea, no varía. En cambio, aquí es como que podía, podría. Pudo, pude, uh, yes, o yes, eso sería Ajá. yes, I could. Ajá, yes, I could. Sí, sería cool, entonces, cool you read. Yes. Luego la number six, Ellie can, can ride a bicycle. She rides oh, right. it to school every day. Ella. Eh, cool. Por ir variando. Con. O, cold. o sea, que no pudo nadar, algo así, dice. Uh -huh. Mi hermano. Ahora él. Ajá. Mi hermana no pudo nadar el año pasado. Ah. Ajá, sí, Pero, last, last year creo que significa. Last year. Both knew, both know she. She can. She can. Mm -hmm. Three can, okay. O cold. Eh, si ya decimos con cold. cold Ajá, decir, tendría que ser cold. El mismo. Sí. Solo que el primero tiene que ser negativo. Ajá. Cold. Cold. No sé, con, cold. Eh, con N. ¿Ah? Ok. Entonces sería negativo. Cold. Mm. Cold. N. T. Así es correcto. Ajá. Ellos podrían ir de compra. Ellos no pudieron ir de compra ayer. Porque la tienda estaba cerrada. No, también es negativa. Ellos sí, no también es negativa. Sí, Entonces, no, sería no cold. pudieron ir a comprar ayer. Okay. Es cold. Yeah. Cold. 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 También, ajá. Pienso. Pipe. And you read... Can you read when you were for just? ¿Qué quizás es Camber, no? ¿Cómo? En la número, number five, Ken. ¿O no? Pero, no veo, Can no you veo. read me? Ah, sí. Can you... Can you... Ajá. Uh -huh. Y en la parte B... Yes, I can. Yes. Lo que no tengo muy claro ahorita es cuándo ocupar code y cuándo ocupar qué. 
need? Can you read when you, you read? were four years? No, could you read? A call? No, uh, could you read when you were four years, years old? Uh -huh. Could you read when you were four, four years old? Yes, yes, I could. Yes, I can. What is it, can? Can you read can. when you were yes, I can. Pero yes, I I can could. Can. Sí, podría. Yes, ¿Por qué? Que yes, I could. No, está no, hablando no, no, no. de que... Mm, de un tiempo ¿verdad? cuando eh, tú tenías cuatro años sí podría sí podía mejor dicho podía. ajá oh no no están de acuerdo porque estaba en el pasado otra vez. Uh -huh. Yes. Vale, entonces sería, Call you read when you were four years old. Yes, I call. That's correct. Ahora vamos con la seis. Only can ride a bicycle. She rides to school every day. ¿Está bien con quién? Mm. Mm -hmm. Rides to school every day. Cool. ¿Quién sería ella? Sí, yo digo que Ken. El Ken, ajá. El Ken Ryan. Ride bicycle. Ellie, Ellie can ride a bicycle. Bicycle. She rides to. Ella. She rides. Ella rides. Todo el día. Todo el día en bicicleta. Por right, right. Yes, right. Ella da paseos. I can go out, out to the park to play. I every I am very excited. So. Es presente siempre. ¿no? I am very tired. So. I very tired. So I am. I so yeah, call, can go out the park to play. Mm -hmm. Or call, I call go out to the park to play. I'll be tired. I see no, I see no, no, sé qué poner. ¿En qué número? La siete. Siete. I am very tired, so. I so am very tired, so. Ah, oh, ok. Oh. Eh, sería. Ajá, quizás. Quizás sí. Pero me inclino, más, me inclino más por Ken, yo. Ok. Ken. Or could. Uh, the tens. Now we have more 11. Excuse me. Hear you right now. The music is too 
Los. The number 11, I think, can't, excuse me, I can hear you right now. The music is too loud. Uh, digo que es can porque pregunta, disculpa, este, ¿puedes escucharme ahora? Uh, ¿Puedes oírme ahora? Mm -hmm. I can hear you right now. La once can, ok. The eleven can. Vamos, twelve. Twelve, twelve, twelve. I can drive a truck when I was only sixteen years old. Eh, ¿Ken? Para mí es Ken. ¿Ken, verdad? Sí, igual para mí. Sí, es Ken. Sí, es Ken. All right. Did you finish? Yes, we did. All right, cool. Before checking the answers of this exercise, let's have the second attendance and then we're gonna compare our answers, all right? Let's okay. See. One more day. Carlos. Cesar. I'm here. Claudia. Um, Daniel. Present teacher. Edwin. Emerson. Present teacher. Eric. Present. Present. Emer. Present. Jacobo. Present teacher. Jocelyn. Present teacher. Jorge. Julio. Present. All right, Carla. Present. Lailin. Present. Maria. Present. Mario. Present teacher. Sergio. Present teacher. With Fred. Present. All right, cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Melissa. It's all right. Bueno, veamos, pues. Let's do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, ¿cómo nos había quedado esto? All right. Go to the party last night because I was sick. Con el tiempo pasado, ¿qué es lo más recomendable? ¿Usar qué o cool? Ajá. Pero, es, pero sería afirmativo o negativo? Negativo. Negativo. Negativo, right? Porque si no pude Negative. ir a la fiesta. I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. So, they said, no, no pude participar ayer en la clase porque estaba trabajando. I couldn't participate yesterday in class because I was working, right? So I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. Okay, this is a question. Noel cook Italian food. Yes, he could. Oh. Noel cook Italian oh. food. Yes, he could. Food. Yes. Food. Yes. Well, so could it's so a yeah. possibility, teacher. It's a possibility, like. Could yes, he right. Italian food for the party. Yes, what is it? We or, agree that he can, or, but it's more of a possibility. It could be can for an ability. For an ability, it could be can. Para preguntar mm. si él puede hacer eso, right? Like he has the ability of cooking Italian food, right? 
So, aquí cualquiera de los dos está bien. Can or could. I'm going to write both. Right? Like, can Noel or could Noel cook Italian food? Yes, he can or yes, he could. Right? All right. Okay, my sister swim last year, but now could could <coughs> you just saying the 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 uh huh. Aunque yeah. aquí dice last year y aquí dice past. Uh -huh. Pasado. Last couldn't. year aún no podía, Could right? Yeah. She couldn't swim last year, but now. She can. Ahora sí, ya puede, right? Like, like mm -hmm. she already learned. She went to classes. Now she can swim. Oh, right? Uh -huh. My sister couldn't swim last year, but now she can. They go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Co co couldn't. Couldn't. Couldn't, right? Couldn't. They couldn't go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Uh -huh. You read when you were four years old? Can. 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 Fast. Could you read? Could you read? When mm -hmm. you. It's kind of yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Could uh -huh. you read when you were four years old? Ya podías leer cuando tenías cuatro años, algo así, right? Yes? I could. I yes, could. I could. Yes, I have that ability when I was four years so actually I couldn't <laughs> all right Ellie ride a bike she rides to school every day ahí si es quien <laughs> ella si puede ella si tiene esa habilidad right she can ride a bike mm. she actually como como se que si puede porque si todos los días llega en bicicleta a la escuela mm -hmm. yeah she rides a bike to school every day she mm -hmm. rides it to school every day ya no se la roban <laughs> no, but here you can do that too. Pero me la roban. <laughs> Pero si la deja entrar a la escuela, no. La cadena, no por eso. <laughs> I have students that ride a bike to school. Pero no es lo mismo, no la cuidan bien. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only in front. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm very tired, so. I can't. I need it. Negative. Can't. I can't go to the park to play. I'm very tired, right? Okay. You see the moon last night? Good. 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 Could you see the moon last night? No. I couldn't. I couldn't. I was sleeping. <laughs> All I'm right. Very tired. I was very tired. All right. When... I was in the class in English. Yeah. <laughs> when I talked to you about the company report. When could. Cool. When do podía. Cool. When can could I or when can I? Depends of the confidence. Ahí se va a depender de la confianza que se tenga. ¿Cuándo podemos hablar o cuándo podríamos hablar? Right? Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say can or could. Okay. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. Yeah. It's too Tomorrow late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. When can I, when could I talk to you about the company report? Most likely. Sí, yo creo que ahí va a depender de qué tanta confianza. Por ejemplo, si, si su jefe le está diciendo a usted, le puede decir, when can I talk to you about the report? Pero si usted le está diciendo al jefe, podría ser un poco más polite. When could I? ¿Cuándo podría hablar del reporte? Yes. Most dinosaurs walked on land, but some. Good. Oh, good. Some could fly. Algunos podían volar. And ever swim. Even swim. Even swim. Sorry. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. All right. Excuse me. I couldn't, I couldn't hear you. Right but now. it's right I now. 
Ay, ah, qué como, bien, ajá, bien, como cuando están en una gran fiesta bien. y les hablan por teléfono. Ay, 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 Okay, I could um, drive a truck when I was only 16 no, years old. No, creo que sería Ken. But it's in past. <laughs> well, no, it's in past, it's good. It's in past, I could. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, cool. yes. Douglas hit the tree because... Hmm? He couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't stop the car, so that was an accident. Mm -hmm. All right. And how many hot dogs can you eat at one time? Can you eat at one time? Right. And read without my reading glasses. What are they? No puedo leer sin mis I can. I can mm -hmm. read without. I can't. I can't read without my reading glasses. What are they? All right. Great. What? Mm -hmm. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Eh, mm -hmm. ¿Por qué eh, para decir dónde están los lentes se dice where are they y no where is it si es un objeto? <risa> Truco de plurales otra vez. <risa> en inglés muchas cosas son plurales, aunque en, en español son singulares. Ayer le explicaba que, por ejemplo, usted dice el pantalón y es singular en español y está bien, pero en inglés son los pantalones. So, lo mismo pasa con los glasses, porque tenemos no existe... dos ojos. No, o sea, no existe la palabra pantalón en inglés, solo pantalones. Sí. Mm. <risa> son pants. Con ese, ¿no? Glasses, también es plural. Siempre que incluya más de uno, entonces los ojos, las piernas, las manos, los, los lentes, los guantes, los calcetines, los zapatos, todo es plural. Y ahí se ocupa el arde, el arde. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, ok. Gracias, yep. teacher. No problem. Good. Yo. Anybody else? ¿Algo más? No. Very good. Perfect. All right. ¿Cómo están? Stressed. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. Yeah. Stressed and tired. Two minutes, I'm, please. No, three. I, I need to Ten read. minutes for break. Need to read. <laughs> a break. A break. Please, 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 please. It's Christmas teacher, remember. Va, cuando regresemos empezamos ya con esta lesson, ¿ok?
sumber All right, welcome back. Don't go to sleep. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How is everything? Everything okay? What happened here? Exactly, where yes. did everybody go? Yes, I closed my eyes and... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I was dreaming. <laughs> All right, careful. <laughs> Be careful. Okay, we haven't finished yet. All right, there is a survey actually on this lesson. Okay, this lesson is about ask for opinion about customer satisfaction of a product. Okay. Ver qué tan satisfecho está un customer con un producto, okay? That's the whole idea of the lesson. So, we start by, how was the last experience of a customer purchase, satisfying or dissatisfying? Usted como customer, piensa la última vez que compró algo. Mm. <laughs> Solo vive en mi memoria. ¿no? <laughs> Ahí está. <laughs> I don't remember it. <laughs> no. Well, I just bought something for the computer today. But I don't know much about computers, so I think it's okay. <laughs> At least my friend helped me. He knows about computers. He's, he's an engineer, so he said that it's a, a hard disk, a solid hard disk for the computer to be faster. So I trust him. So if I'm going to talk about my satisfaction level about this product, I will have to wait until I use it, okay? So let's see. Talk about these questions. Let's see. Something happened here. Oh, yes. Okay. How was the last experience of a customer purchase? Do you rank the products or, or services? that you obtain, is customer satisfaction something very important? And what words do you use to evaluate a product or a service? 
traten de buscar como una respuesta para cada una de estas questions y cuando las tengan me avisan. O sea, usted piensen cómo podría responder cada una de estas questions. How was the last experience as a customer of a customer's purchase? If you don't work in a store, think about your experience when you were the customer, right? Do you rank the products or services that you obtain? For example, when you obtain a service as a Uber in transportation, you have to rank. You say, good service, five stars. Mm, not so good, probably four stars or three stars. And if the service is bad, then you probably give two or one star. Okay, is customer satisfaction something very important? In what words do you use to evaluate a product or a service? Any volunteer? Uh -huh. No answers yet? Mm. Maybe? Do you want an opinion about uh, those questions? questions? Yes. Um, okay. And my case in the first one, my last experience was a very good experience because uh, um, the customer um, communicate me uh, whatever situation in the problem. It was a online purchase, mm -hmm. and um, I have some troubles uh, in the in the track of the mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the customer expand the the, the protection mm -hmm. the protection time. And at, at the end, I received uh, I received the product, and everything was okay. And after that, I ranked rank is like um, calificar. Yes, evaluate. Right? Yes, you okay. Were ranking. Okay. At at the end, I ranked the the product with a uh, five star. Not the pro, not just the product, the service, uh, the seller too. Yes, mm -hmm. and the delivery service too. The delivery, the delivery service of the the custom of the the, the seller. Mm. The, um, so in this case, mm, you were the customer. <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, no. I I am I'm wrong. Is uh, the delivery the delivery um, um, service? Just mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. and the satisfaction is very important because so uh, in that way the the, the seller ha, has more more clients, more customers, and the words I use to evaluate the product or service is a good product. I recommend the seller. And uh, I recommend the product. The delivery was so fast in some cases. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. That are my 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 opinions. Good, nice. Another person who wants to participate. At one, at two, no. <laughs> All right, no more. All right. Interesting. I think it's easy to think about the last time, the last experience that you had as a customer. We are customers every day, at all times, every minute, right? So when you go to a restaurant, you are a customer, you are a client, and you receive a service if they serve the food, if the quality of the food is good, if the service is nice, gorgeous, if the time is fast, okay? So 
We are customers all the time. When we buy, even if you only buy at the store, I mean, in your neighborhood, in your community, you are the customer of the lady who sells in the store, right? So you evaluate if the person is kind when attending you or the, ¿qué va a llevar? Good morning, how may I help you? <laughs> okay, so, of ¿Qué course. Quiere? <laughs> ¿Qué quiere? <laughs> lo mira. No, 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 que va a querer amor. <laughs> right. Of course, we're not going to punish these poor ladies for not having a very nice or a very kind attitude all the time, right? But at least to say good morning, how may I help you, right? So it's, it's very simple. But we are customers all the time. So we rank probably if there is not a an, <laughs> an app or a tablet to rank the service or the product, but mentally we do. We say, mm, this service was not very good or was not very efficient or was very slow or was not very kind, right? So we're always, you know, showing some approval, showing some satisfaction or some dissatisfaction with the products. All right. Check the definitions and try to tell me what is ranking, what is average, what is level of satisfaction, and what is serving. Ranking, the position or level something. Or someone, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. I already gave you the second one. <laughs> Thank you. That was a, a gift, a bonus. Okay, ranking is a position or level of something or someone that has, yes, in a list that compares the quality someone in case the person you want i mean you have to evaluate the person right the waiter the waitress the taxi driver an average is a number expressing the central or typical value in a set of data in a particular mode it's like between the highest and the lowest number so the one that is in the middle that's the average it's el promedio all right Level of satisfaction. Uh, mm -hmm. A possible scale, scale is then not a satisfied. It's a scale, right? It's como una escala. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, satisfied, partially satisfied, satisfied, more, more than five stars satisfied. or one star. <laughs> okay. Yes. From one to five in an interval scale and survey. Survey instrument used to gather information. Exactly. It's an encuesta, right? So that's an instrument used to gather information. All right. This is <laughs> the oh, result, yeah. right? So yeah. this is the result of a survey. Volunteer to role play the model dialogue, read the survey and answer the question related to how satisfied a customer is. Okay, so 41.5, satisfied. The other one is very satisfied. The other one is very unsatisfied. This is unsatisfied and this is neutral. Somebody who doesn't like to express the opinion, they would be like in that position, right? Okay, we're gonna, mm -hmm. let me just go back to the manual because I need you to see this information before. Okay, read a survey. Hold on. Yeah, about customer's experience with a product. 
How satisfied are you with this product? Very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, or very dissatisfied. Okay, rate your opinion about the product's quality. High quality, average, low quality, or very low quality. The value of this product is excellent, good, poor, or very poor. Will you continue using this product? Yes or no? Okay, so here you have some data. Aquí tienen que aprender a analizar estos números. <laughs> o, o estos ranking, okay? Of this information provided. And then read the information again to answer the questions compared with a partner. How was the customer experience according to this, okay? Is the product good? Is the product a good one or a bad one? Think about possible problems the customer had with the product. Definitivamente tenemos que analizar la información que se nos da, right? Para poder responder estas questions. Revisenla, discutenla, compare, and let me give you the time. Déjenme darles un tiempo para que no lo hagan solo. Okay, some minutes to double check, analyze, answer the questions, compare the questions and the answers with a partner. Hola, Melissa. But maybe he don't like the product. I think. He don't like the product. Okay, entonces. Mm. He's a different. Okay. Ustedes, his, ustedes experience, his experience was bad. 
No estoy anotando, no voy a hacer. Otra vez. Cabal. What's bad? What's bad? Why, Lailin? Helio, Jocelyn. No. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué fue la experiencia mala? Es... No le gustó el producto. He don't like He didn't. He didn't. Es el pasado de, de no. Sí, es que lo que, lo que pasa es que eh, para usar este verbo en pasado de forma negativa, si se fijan el verbo gustó, tendría que haber sido así. Light. Pero... Light. No dice nada, no, no dice. No, no dice how was la experiencia del customer purchase, satisfacción, está satisfecho, hoy, hoy satisfecho, entonces está insatisfecho, ¿no? porque el producto es de baja calidad y el, el cliente está insatisfecho porque el producto es de baja calidad. O sea que cuando porque no te habla de precio ni nada, solo te habla de, no. de la satisfacción y la única para evaluar el producto es la calidad. Y me imagino que por la calidad. Igual sí. cuando vos compras sí. y ves dicen, dicen, ah, pues el pro, producto no es muy bueno, pero porque el precio es bajo, dicen, es decir, yo he visto hay veces cuando en me meto en Amazon y antes de comprar pues, veo los comentarios. Entonces ahí, ahí salen ahí los clientes que dicen que, es que hay que pensar que el precio es, es bajo, ¿va? pero que el producto cumplió y que no se qué, vaya así. Entonces ya digo que sería. Ajá, ahí va viendo uno las evaluaciones dependiendo. Uh -huh. They surveyed your opinion about the product quality. Eh, sobre la opinión, sobre la calidad del producto. Mm -hmm. the, client, the client say a very low quality. Ha marcado uh, que es una baja. baja calidad. Correcto. The, the, value, the value of the, this product is poor. Mm. Es de lo peor, va. Muy ah, pobre. Ajá. Ajá. Muy bajo. Ah. Ah, y el otro will dice. You, will you continue using this, this product? No. No. Eh, continuaría usando este producto y dice definitivamente no. Mm. Vaya. De ahí. De ahí vienen estas preguntas. Read the information again to answer the, the question. Compare with the partner. Who was, who was the customer experience? ¿Cómo fue la experiencia? ¿Ah? ¿Cómo fue la experiencia del cliente? Algo así. Ajá. Sí. ¿Cuál fue la Ajá. Y it was, creo que le puedo poner acá. It was, ah. Uh, It's a very bad and and the fast five. In sorry five. Vamos a ver cómo escribes. Ah, the sorry for and and the. Sorry. Bye. Thank <sighs> 
Vale. Okay. Is, is the product a good one? Is the product a good one or bad one? The product is bad. Vamos a ver acá, dijo, is, the product is very low quality and the pure. Okay, sería, más fan de acuerdo, the product is bad one, bad one is All right. Did you answer the questions? All right. It says, how satisfied are you with this product? This satisfied. Rate your opinion about the products. Quality. Very low quality. The value of this product is poor. Will you continue using this product? No. So, <laughs> so let's say, how was the customer experience? And the experience it was very bad. Okay. The customer's experience. The customer experience uh -huh. was bad, right? Was very bad. He is um, satisfied. Yes, he was dissatisfied. Okay. Is the product a good one or a bad one? It's a bad one. Yeah, it's a bad product, right? It is a bad one. Oh, sorry. It is a bad one. It is a bad product. Think about possible problems the customer had with the product. What could be the products? What it would is, be the problem? It is uh, well, maybe. Maybe the customer received a uh, very late uh, the product. Mm hmm Could be. The customer received the product late. It took too much time to receive the product. What could be another problem? Maybe bad very, publicity. Very low quality. Low quality, poor quality, bad quality. Uh huh. Lightning, could you repeat? Yes, I could. Uh, bad publicity. Could be. Uh -huh. I, I mean, mainly if it is something online, you can even have many bad or negative comments about this product. And then the publicity definitely is going to be affected, right? Uh huh. Could be bad quality. It could have been something. Mm hmm so probably the the product on the publicity looks good but in reality when the product is delivered it was not the same quality that shows on the photos of the publicity as well right 
Okay, that's another possibility actually. Okay, let's do one last thing. And this is the conversation I had presented before. All right, it says, good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, as you wish, right? <laughs> How can I help you? I would like to return this cell phone, this sofa, this TV, this computer, whatever you want, right? What's wrong with it? Mm, it's not the right quality, it's not the right size, it's not the right uh, model, whatever. I'm dissatisfied, so I'm not satisfied, right? And the resolution is very poor and the quality is low. I see, would you like a refund or an exchange? I would like a refund, please. When did you purchase the computer, the cell phone, the TV. the TV, right? The blender, the refrigerator, smart whatever. The smart TV, the smartphone, right? And is it? Uh, do you still have the receipt? Could be another. Okay. So this is something that you are going to create. Okay. Este es algo. Un modelo de algo que ustedes van a tener que crear una conversation in pairs. Vayan a poner de acuerdo con quien quieren trabajar. Van a crear una conversation for tomorrow y la van a decir en la clase. Dice, es que no ya no nos vamos a poder reunir ni nada. No problem, it's okay. No se pueden reunir. Yo sé que están trabajando, están busy. Al inicio de la clase igual voy a dar un tiempo para que, pues terminen como tengan una idea por lo menos yo igual les voy a compartir este model como es, es como sobre la que van a montar su conversation pero se la tienen que aprender ok la persona que es letter a tiene que saber que al inicio va a decir good afternoon good morning how may I help you or how can I help you right y la otra persona va a decir I would like to return this y ustedes deciden qué producto What's wrong with it? Va a decir la otra persona. It's not the right model. It's not the right computer. It's not the right cell phone, whatever. And I'm dissatisfied with the quality, with the color, with the size, or whatever, right? So, pueden, pueden pues agregar todo lo demás, ¿verdad? The resolution is poor. The quality is low. The quality is not what I requested. So, I see, would you like a refund or an exchange? Vale, o sea que si sí vamos a tener homework. Al menos, tienen que traer ideas, ¿ya? Y a la hora de que nos reunamos en la clase, ya la juntan con un compañero o pueden decir ya también con quién trabajar y ya ir preparando. Igual, it's easy porque ustedes simplemente pueden ir preparando la conversation con notas de voz, busquen ahí con qué partner quieren trabajar, y pueden ir practicando con voice notes, right? For example, the first person sends a message, says, good morning, how may I help you? And the other person sends another voicemail. Y ahí se pueden poner de acuerdo que qué producto van a regresar, o si van a querer un refund, o si quieren exchange the product, también puede ser opcional. Preguntas? Questions? No question. No question, está claro. Es clear as the what. Bye. Ahorita les voy a compartir el, eh, este slide. Sí, chat. Yes. And the, um, yeah, the WhatsApp chat, right? Y ustedes pues lo retoman para crear su conversation and present it tomorrow. All right. All right, so easy peasy. <laughs> and the last attendance, okay? So here we have the last attendance. Are you ready? Oh, yes. 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 Don Balmore. 
Ya se nos fue. Carlos. Listen, teacher. I'm here. Hello. Llega <laughs> tarde las signos, bueno. All right, Claudia. Present, teacher. Daniel. Present, teacher. Edwin. Present, teacher. Emerson. Present. Eric. Present. Emer. Present. Emer, are you going to participate in the session one on one? Okay. All right, perfect. Jacobo. Present. Jocelyn. Present teacher. Jorge. Present teacher. Julio. Carla. Present teacher. Lailin. Mary. Present. Present. Aquí estoy. <laughs> Mario. Present. All right, Sergio. And we'll present teacher. Present. Good. Bueno, to practice. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Melissa. All right, practice, practice for tomorrow. And you're going to present this conversation in which you're not satisfied with a product and in which you're going to request for an exchange or for a refund. Yes? Yes. All right, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Night. Bye. 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 All right, Emer. Nice to meet you. Hola. Bien. <laughs> Gusto de conocerle. Igual. ¿Cómo está? Pues bien, digo yo. Qué es como bueno. en realidad, este, para este módulo no, no me iba este, a conectar, ¿verdad? Por, por tiempo. Estaba ocupadito. Como más que todo hago este, de, trabajo de decoraciones. Ah, de verdad. Y, y entonces en esta época es este. Es el más wonderful temporada. time of the year. Ajá. A, usted esto, sí le, a usted sí le aplica. Es el más wonderful time. Ajá. Y qué bonito Bye. su trabajo. Sí, hacemos de ese rótulos y de ahí decoraciones. Un montón de cosas. ¿Y dónde está ubicado? En Santana. <ríe> Yo le iba a decir, mire, tuve, acabo de tener la, las primeras comuniones de mi sobrino. De... Ajá, entonces yo hablé ¿verdad? en inglés y les dije que para este módulo, no por, por, por época navideña, ¿no? Pero uh -huh. siempre me escribieron, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Las primeras clases prácticamente como quedé con ellos que no, no, no. No, no se había conectado. No me había conectado, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero entonces después me hablaron y me dijeron que, que me conectara, que aunque sea solo estuviera de oyente en la clase, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. no es... Porque le digo, por el trabajo en realidad no puedo estar participando, ¿no? Es como Generalmente que, como está trabajando a esa hora. La mayoría de veces, ajá. Mm, Entonces, vale. por eso me hace un poquito más difícil, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué tal ha estado entendiendo? Sí, ahí sí voy a... Lo que hago es poner este... He estado viendo que ha completado, completa. ajá, la plataforma. Ajá, ya completé la plataforma, sí. No, pero pero muy sí, bien. eso es lo que he estado haciendo, escuchando uh -huh. la clase y tratar de no, no perder nada, ¿verdad? Perfecto, me parece muy bien. Lo felicito porque también no es fácil. Sí, sí hay que hacerlo. Sí, sí. Yo hablé con ellos y me dijeron, no, no le importa, dijeron, que aunque no prenda la cámara, esté solo escuchando, así, así se lo va a estar por ser este. Por, por la el trabajo. Sí. Por la Entiendo. Muy bien, ajá. gracias por la explicación también. Sí, ajá, ya sí, no pero... me habían dicho nada. <risa> no, le, no le comunicaron. Sí, yo pensé que iban a poner algún mes, eh, porque a veces dejan un comentario, ¿verdad? Para que uno esté pues eh, tome nota porque no está la persona así como activamente participando y todo eso, pero Anda, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí, porque ellos me dijeron, pero porque le dije, pero a mí por eso me va a dar porque dije, no va a estar este, no va a estar poner atención directamente, porque normalmente claro. no lo que sí era poner la laptop y, y ya podía uh -huh. recibir la clase como se debía. Sí, es mucho más fácil, pues, porque tiene muchas mucho más, más herramientas para compartir, para buscar, para interactuar. Uh -huh. Sí. Bueno. Ah, pero me dijeron, no, para que no pierda, aunque sea de oyente, esté escuchando la clase. Solo que lo importante es que no vaya a faltar ninguna clase, porque claro. me he perdido los primeros, 
Sí, por las tendencias. Sí, Ajá. ok, muy bien. ¿Y qué tal la experiencia de aprender inglés? Pues, gracias a Dios, bien. Me ha Ahí gustado. voy aprendiendo, poco a poco, sí. Está bien, ok. Ajá, desde, desde el primer módulo el teacher me dijo que, que viera películas pero en inglés y estuviera... Sí, lo más que pueda, lo más que pueda es estar en contacto con el idioma, escuchar, leer, buscar, Ajá. así, escribir, todo eso, todo eso que le, que le haga practicar de una u otra forma, pues le va, le va a dar como ¿verdad? ventaja, vea, porque va a recordar más vocabulario, más formas de decir las cosas y... Y si le va a abonar, pues a ir a construyendo el, el conocimiento. Ajá. Okay. Y de los últimos temas que hemos estado viendo, ¿tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda? No, ahorita estoy así mirando. Es prácticamente lo último que vimos también en, en el módulo pasado, el cool. Y el, es como un repaso. El going to, es un repaso Ajá, prácticamente. Literal. Entonces, por eso es que he sentido yo que estaba así más. Entendiendo un poquito Qué Yo buena. dije, si es algo nuevo Si es algo nuevo, dije, yo, sí me va a costar ¿verdad? Pero de ahí estaba Escuchando una clase y digo, un repaso Prácticamente uh -huh. de lo que hemos estado Y si escucha cuando están los compañeros participando Escucho Cuando están en grupo uh -huh. sí, sí, también eso es importante Pues porque Si este Pues aunque no lo, no lo esté usted Haciendo, pero escucha que ellos están Como intentando, ¿verdad? Eso Ajá. también le dice a usted, ah, yo también lo pensaría o lo haría así y todo eso. Es como literalmente tener la mente ocupada ¿verdad? en sí. pensar sí. en el otro idioma. Uh -huh. Sí, son, son ratitos que en realidad algunas veces me desconecto por algo, pero, o oh, que no estoy escuchando, pero uh -huh. de ahí casi, pero casi estoy escuchando la completa. ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Ajá. Qué bueno, me da gusto. Sí. Okay. Sí, ya tal vez ya para el otro módulo, ya, ya, ya que se va a Es que eso le explicaba yo a ella, pero es que solo es una temporada prácticamente la que, la que se da uh -huh. por la, la época navideña. ¿verdad? Sí, ¿y cómo aprendió? Pues sí, sigue viendo. <risa> tenía, <risa> Tutorials, tenía, tenía amigas, no, tenía amigas que, que siempre tra trabajaban, trabajan en locales, uh -huh. de decoraciones, hacen este, adornos, todo lo que se refiere para fiestas. Uh -huh. Vaya y, y viéndome. Y su especialidad es siempre es el Durapax. Aquí oh. el Durapax, sí. Uh -huh. O cualquier otro tipo de decoración. Cualquier otro tipo de decoración, ajá. Y va a eventos y todo eso. Sí, de segmentos. Qué nice. Eso es para los fines de semana más que todo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, sobre y, todo. Y el trabajo normal en esa parte. Oh, pues claro. <risa> <risa> este es su freelance. Sí. Ajá. A mí me gusta mucho, déjenme ver si les puedo mostrar aquí. Sí, es bonito. Ajá. Sí. Ah, solo que lleva bastante tiempo alguna vez. Claro. En, en época normal, ¿no? Para, para que se trabaja uh -huh. el día y... Ahí está mi, mi, mi Christmas tree. Sí, sí. Yo aquí tengo. <risa> ¡Ah! ¡Qué bonito! Sí. sí, yo también soy un poco fan de, la, de las decorations, pero nunca sí, lo he hecho sí. como trabajo. Ajá. Okay. Ajá, yo sí, de así poco a poco empezamos y al final ganamos clientes. Qué bueno. Ya, ya se, se quedó prácticamente. Ya tenemos con mi esposa 10 años. De, sí, de ya tiene experiencia. Ajá. Ya tiene sí, de proveedores como... y clientes también. Sí. Uh -huh. Y comenzó como un hobby, ¿Un se, hobby? Puede, se puede uh -huh. decir. Ajá. Sí. Pero al final fun funcionó, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y ahí estamos. Qué bueno. Los felicito. Sí. Muy bonito Gracias. el trabajo, la verdad. Ok, Ajá. bueno, entonces estamos bien, en gusto. Sí. Igual, ahí voy a estar pendiente de las clases siempre, ¿verdad? Sí, perfecto. Un gusto. Bueno. Good night. Good night. Bye.